Create your email templates in Email Templates. Check out what you already have available. You can edit any of these. You can even delete some, except do not delete the client access link, client access password, nor the SOA notification. You can edit the body of those messages, but don't even change the template name nor the subject lines, as that will mess up some of the built-in features for SOA and the client access portal. Don't know what those are? Check out the Help app for more info, but otherwise just leave them. Okay, now let's create a basic signature so that you can easily duplicate it for future templates. Hit Add Email Template. Enter a template name. Enter a subject line. Let's enter Edit This Subject Line to remind us for the future to make it more specific. Use the snippets of hashtag agent name hashtag and hashtag agent email hashtag to pull the assigned agent name and email from their account, my information fields. These are field names between the hashtags so that they'll auto-populate the assigned agent details from those fields. That way, if you have to change your email or your name, you don't have to change every template. I'd recommend not BCCing yourself on this template and check Make Template Available to All Users so that other people can use this template as well. Only admins will be able to edit it. Let's look at the body. Here on the right are Content, Rows, and Settings. Content are the content options. Text, Image, Button, which is great for links and file attachments, dividers, social, HTML, video, and more. Rows help you to format the template. And settings are the basics of the template. You can increase or decrease the size of the content width to make it easier to see the full template as you're editing. You can also set the alignment, background colors, default font, and link colors. Let's go back to rows. I want to take this one for a logo and a signature line. I'll drag it below this first row and drop it when I see drag it here. You can't just drop it anywhere you want. You'll need to use the rows to be specific where the content elements go. Let's drag a text content element. Click into the text box. Type your text. You'll see this WYSIWYG here. That's what you see is what you get. You can click on Merge Tags to grab the lead or client first name. It says lead, but it's really lead or client. Click these arrows to get rid of the WYSIWYG. Click again to get it back. You can change the font, the size, alignment, and so on. Click onto the word content to get the other elements. Let's grab text again. We can use the merge tags to grab the assigned agent details. Those are below the main lead client details. Below the agents fields, you'll see the lead and client custom fields.
If you notice here, there are also agent custom fields where you can add in states licensed in, add an agent calendar link, and other fields you might want for the agents. The details for that are shown in the custom fields video if you're interested. Add your website and use the link icon to create a website hyperlink. Let's drag over an image element into this smaller box. You'll now browse for the image. You have to click into a folder before you can upload or search. Click Upload to Upload a File. Or, you can search for free photos. Search for the kind of photo you want. Import. Then insert. Here on the right, you can apply effects and more. You can add text, change colors, fonts, and much more. Once you're done, hit Apply. Let's make this font better. Add a divider. Drag in social elements. You can align it here. Delete the ones you don't need. Add your handle to those you want to keep. Save template. Now you can copy that template. To search for a template, use the filter to make your life easier. Copy. Rename it. Let's do AEP number one. Edit that subject line. Edit the text. Let's drag over a button. Edit the text of the button. You can change the color. You can add a URL if you want it to be a link. If you've created a custom agent field for the calendar link, you can add that snippet code instead. You can also use this as a way for people to download a file. Special links will give you access to carrier documents or other files that you've added to the account in general. If you want to upload a file only to this template, use Link File to upload directly. Add a video. This will look embedded but you'll only be pasting the video link here to display it in the body. This will help the template's deliverability. You can tweak the play icon. Save. Now, let's edit this birthday template. The sticker element will give you fun animations to play with.
search for birthday and grab one that looks good. You can resize it. Look to the right and you can deselect auto width and then use the scroll bar to resize. Edit and save. Get creative with the content, but it is recommended to keep it as simple as possible. Check out our article on email best practices to learn more about how your content might impact deliverability. Check out the Help app for articles and videos on more training on other features.